So you've heard of guest access in Microsoft 365 and Azure Active Directory, but what if you could grant access to an entire tenant or an entire customer? Now that would be an interesting idea, wouldn't it? Greetings everyone, welcome back to the channel. Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP, as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. So nice to see you. Uh, you may be familiar with some of my other videos on guest access. Guest access is perfect for business to business scenarios where you want to in invite uh, collaboration between uh, customers, suppliers, and so on. You can invite them into Azure and Microsoft 365 as guest access. But what if you could invite an entire tenant in, or if you could collaborate with a partner company or something like that? How cool would that be? Well, now currently in preview, we have cross-tenant access settings, a very nice set of features and with some amazing functionality. And this is just the beginning. I kind of get the feeling from Microsoft that they're gonna take this to a very, very high level uh, with lots and lots of additional functionality that are, that's gonna come in in the next few months. So this is definitely a technology that you're gonna to want to learn. Now, just before the demo, I just wanna mention a big shout out to everyone who subscribed to the channel. I can't tell you, I really do appreciate it. My numbers are going up great. We're soon uh, gonna hit 9,000 and I gotta say, Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, we're, hit, we're trying to go, though, for that big 10K number. So please help me. If you've not subscribed, go ahead, click on that subscribe button up there. Ring that bell, and you won't miss out on the videos that I'm going to produce in the future. And of course, if you've got questions, comments, feedback about this or any of my other sessions, please get them down below, and I will do my best uh, to answer them for you. So I think without any more jibber jabber, I think it's about time we got into some demos. All right, so sit back and get ready to learn. Hi everybody, right, so I'm gonna kick off the demo. I have actually, I'm working on two different tenants here. So you can see I've got a company called Contoso. And if I flip over to this browser, you can see that I've got a company called Adatum. And these two guys are business partners. And so to typically what you would do if you want to provide access to a business partner here in Azure, typically you would go into users in Azure AD and you would then invite that user as a business to business user in a traditional way. And what this does is it creates an on-the-fly license for the user. And once you've done that, you can then um, uh, add in things like applications, and if you want the user to interact and collaborate with things like Microsoft 365 groups and Teams. So what I want to do though is something a little bit beyond that. So a brand new feature here in Microsoft 365, it's currently in preview. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down uh, and I'm gonna come down here to external identities. And you can see that if you've not been in here recently, this is an area that's really getting quite busy now. Um, so in here, you can see that you can invite external users uh, to collaborate. And of course, that will just take you through to what I've just shown you. But what I'm interested here today is something really quite exciting. And this is my cross-tenant access settings. Now, before you do any kind of cross-tenant settings, one of the things that you might want to have a look at first is external collaboration settings. So first up here, this is, um, for example, guest user access and also guest invite access, all right, or the settings. So first up then, what we're gonna do is we have a look and you can see here, guest users have the same access as members, which of course is the most inclusive. Guest users have limited access to properties. So they maybe get access to certain properties where others they won't. And then it's restricted to properties and memberships of objects that they own themselves. So that's the, the least restrictive, and this is the most restrictive. 
Now, in terms of who traditionally can invite guests, um, typically we have this. So anyone in the organization uh, can invite guests. And this includes guests. Ooh, I don't think so. That is, obviously it's the most inclusive, but do you really want your guests inviting guests? I'm thinking no. Um, member users and users assigned to specific admin roles can invite guests. Now this includes um, things like global admins, user admins, and also users that have got the guest inviter role. Only users assigned to specific admin roles. So that doesn't include users. So this is just really admins. And then this is no one in the organization can invite guests. And this includes admins. So in other words, we don't want any kind of interaction with guests outside the organization. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to leave it uh, as that. Now, we can also configure self-service sign-up via Flows or Power Automate, as it's now known. And of course, this is particularly useful if you're using things like Business to Consumer. Then at the bottom of the page here, you've got some collaboration restrictions. So allow invitations to be sent to any domain. So that means invite anyone. Uh, then you've got a couple of things here. You've got a deny list and you've got an allow list. So deny, if there's any specific domains that you don't want to allow, you can pop them in there and that will essentially block that. Um, for the purpose of this demo, though, I think we're quite happy. I'm just going to accept everyone here. OK, so that's the collaboration settings. And now what I'm going to do is look at this brand new feature, which is cross tenant access settings. So we've got a couple of tabs here, organization and default settings. And one of the first things that we want to do is you want to add an organization. And you can either search Azure Active Directory by the name of the organization or, as you can see, the tenant ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over here to my uh, other tenant. And as you can see, I've got a tenant here called a datum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy their tenant ID here, which is their unique ID. And I'm going to come back into my uh, Azure portal for my tenant at the moment. So one of the first things that we want to do is you can either go here to add an organization or you can go here. Now, when you add an organization, you can either do it by their domain name or by their tenant ID. So, of course, I want to go in and I want to add in their tenant ID. And you can see that it's picked up the company a datum and it's got the correct tenant ID. And I'm going to go ahead and click on add. So now that we've added in the organizations, if you clicked on uh, add or view collaboration settings, it would take you back to the page that I've just shown you. But you also can see you've got inbound access and you've also got outbound access here as well. And it's really easy to manage these. OK, so you can see that the inbound is the a datum tenant and you can configure both the inbound access rules and outbound access rules. So to do this, I'm just going to click on the link here. And you can see that we have three options. So what we have here is B2B collaboration. And B2B collaboration essentially allows inbound access to determine users from a datum can be invited into your organization. And the key thing here is the they will be added as guests. So that's the key thing to note. They're going to be coming in as guests. So if you're using Teams, if you're using, you know, Microsoft 365 groups, it means that you can add them in as guests. And remember, though, that guest access is kind of limited. So if you want to give them access to external groups, um, do you want to bring those users and groups in? Or do you want to give them access to specific applications? You can do it that way. But the key thing is they're coming in as guest access. The alternative is B2B Direct Connect. And Direct Connect is, and again, the key thing is here, um, basically external access from your AD organizations can access resources without being uh, added to your tenant as a guest. In other words, 
they're coming in as their own users. Now, you've got to be really careful with this because this could be potentially sensitive. Um, you know, if you don't want, you know, like a customer or a supplier coming in uh, as a direct member of your organization as such, you would be best bringing them in as guest collaboration access. But this is particularly useful if you, let's say, you've got a group of companies. And so, you know, you've got a, a sales company in Oslo and you've got a marketing company in London and so on. But essentially, that you're, it's a group of, same, of the same companies and you want to share resources. Then this is absolutely fantastic. All right. The other thing that we've got here are the trust settings. And I'll come back to that in a second. Now, for the purpose of this demo, I just want to go into B2B Direct Connect settings here. Now, again, you can accept the default settings and you can also go into the customized settings. Now, just before you start um, doing your configuration, just make sure that there's no conflicts here. So in both things like the applications, Make sure that there's no conflict. So again, do you want to customize those settings or do you want to just accept the default settings? So for B2B, I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to accept the um, default settings here. So with the B2B Direct Connect, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on Customize. And here the customize, it says here, do you want to allow access to external applications? And you can either do this users and groups, but you need to match this, of course. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to allow access from everybody from a datum to access users and groups. Um, I'm, it's going to apply to all external users and groups, or you can se select specific ones, of course. Now, the other thing that we've got is also applications. Now, you've got to be kind of careful here. So do you want them to have access to all applications or just specific applications? So again, you can choose. But I'm going to allow access. This is a sister company. I want to work with them. So I'm going to grant them access to all applications and I'm going to basically give them full access. So it's a great way, rather, you know, if you've got two companies, and you, you maybe don't want to migrate one company into another, this is a fantastic way of sharing resources. So there you go, I can now, I've can i now set up B2B Direct Connect. And now what this means is I can now simply add users and groups. So if, for example, if I go into, let's say, the A Datum organization here, <clears throat> and I go into, let's say, a user account, um, I've got a user here called, let's say, Abby. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into Abby's account. I'm going to go into her account. I'm going to take a note of that username. I'm going to copy that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over here to my other tenant. And I'm going to go into Azure Active Directory. I'm going to go into Groups here. And let's say, for example, I have got a group here called CPH Sales. All right. So I'm going to go into CPH Sales. Remember, this is now in Contoso. I'm going to go into Members and I want to add in a member. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the user from the other tenant. And you can see that that, mess, that user has now come in. OK. Uh, you can see it says they couldn't be found, but they can be invited. So what that means is it's inviting them in, not as a guest, but it's inviting them in as essentially a full user. So I'm going to go ahead and say, come and join the party. And uh, this uh, will now send an invite to this user. OK, so that invite has now been sent. And I'm now going to select that. So I have now added in Abby from a completely different company. I have now added her in there. Isn't that such a cool feature, by the way? This is going to make so life so much easier for so many organizations. So heading back into the 
cross tenant settings again that was the inbound so you can see i've gone ahead and configured the inbound settings um the, you can also of course go into the outbound settings as well so again what do you want to share outbound back from a datum um sorry from contoso out to uh, a datum so again we can go in you can customize that same settings do you want collaboration do you want full access but again it's good to take it inbound but again you've got to think about from a security perspective exactly what you want to put outbound now just before i leave this one more thing i want to do is i'm going to go into those cross tenant settings click back on that configuration tab this is all working great i'm going to go ahead and just click on the trust settings here so when we talk about the trust settings um, we've got some options so like i said do you want to trust multi-factor authentication from the azure ad tenants do you want to trust compliant devices and also any hybrid joined devices from this sister company that you may have so there you go very very exciting feature this is the external uh, collaboration and this is cross tenant access settings it's currently in preview definitely go ahead and check it out hey listen how cool is that cross tenant access settings that how you know i just know there's so many people out there that have been waiting for that i think it's such uh, an exciting feature and that's only the beginning i think once that product hits general availability i think it's going to be super efficient and super exciting hey listen i really hope you've enjoyed the session if you have hit that like button give me a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it and of course if you've not subscribed to the channel then please go ahead hit that subscribe button ring the bell and you won't miss out on the good stuff in the future remember this channel is all about education it's about getting you trained and educated and hopefully certified all for free so i'm not looking for anything you just need to watch the odd advert now and again which i'm sure many of you do all right that's it for this week i'll be back in my studio next week so thanks so much and you stay safe and i'll see you soon take care Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.